Hi guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we discussed the amino benzoic acid derivatives of local anesthetics. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. To learn the other topics of local anesthetics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this lesson, we shall learn the anilide derivatives of local anesthetics such as lignocaine, mepivacaine, prelocaine and etudocaine. Anilides are chemically known as phenyl amides, which means they are the amide derivatives of anilines. The general structure of an anilide is shown here where R denotes the possible substituents. Certain local anesthetics contain the general structure of anilides in their structures. For example, lignocaine, mepivacaine, bupivacaine, prelocaine and etudocaine. These compounds are also known as lidocaine derivatives as lidocaine is the prototype of this class of compounds. Agents of this class are more stable to hydrolysis. They are more potent, they have lower frequency of side effects and induce less irritation than benzoic acid derivatives. The first drug of this lesson is lignocaine. Lignocaine is the first amino amide type local anesthetic. It was discovered in 1946 and went on sale in 1948. Its IUPAC name is 2-diethylamino N26-dimethylphenyl acetamide. It is the monocarboxylic acid amide resulting from the formal condensation of N-N-diethylglycine with 2,6-dimethyl aniline. It is a synthetic amino ethyl amide, a monocarboxylic acid amide, a tertiary amino compound and a member of benzenes. It has a role as a local anesthetic, an antiarrhythmic drug, an environmental contaminant, a xenobiotic, and a drug allergen. It can be derived from a glycinamide. Lignocaine is synthesized from 2,6-dimethyl aniline, also known as 2,6-xylidine, which upon reaction with chloroacetyl chloride gives alpha chloro 26 dimethyl acetanilide. This on subsequent reaction with diethylamine forms lignocaine. Lignocaine is a colorless, odorless and slightly bitter taste crystalline powder. It is practically insoluble in water and soluble in solvent ether. It melts at 79 degrees centigrade. Lignocaine's mechanism of action is similar to that of other local anesthetics. It stabilizes the neuronal membranes by binding to and inhibiting voltage-gated sodium channels thereby inhibiting the ionic fluxes required for the initiation and conduction of impulses and effecting local anesthesia. It is most widely used local anesthetic and is sold under the brand name Xylocaine. It is also used to treat ventricular tachycardia. It is employed both for local application and through injection. This base is generally used as a surface anesthetic in the form of creams, ointments and sprays. The hydrochloride salt is used in solutions and gels. The second drug is Mepivacaine. Mepivacaine is an amide type local anesthetic became available in the US in the 1960s. It is chemically a racemic mixture of N26-dimethylphenyl-1-methylpiperidine-2-carboxamide. It is a piperidine carboxamide in which N-methylpipecolic acid and 2,6-dimethyl aniline have combined to form the amide bond. It is supplied as the hydrochloride salt of the racemate which consists of R-mepivacaine and s plus mepivacaine in equal proportions. These two enantiomers have markedly different pharmacokinetic properties. It has a role as a local anesthetic and a drug allergen. It is chemically related to bupivacaine but pharmacologically related to lidocaine. It has a reasonably rapid onset and medium duration of action. Mepivacaine was originally synthesized in Sweden in 1956. Two methods of synthesis have been suggested for mepivacaine. According to the first method, mepivacaine is synthesized by reacting the ethyl ester of 1-methylpiperidine-2-carboxylic acid with 2,6-dimethyl anilino-magnesium bromide which is synthesized from 2,6-dimethyl aniline and ethyl magnesium bromide. According to the second method, reacting 2,6-dimethyl aniline with the acid chloride of pyridine carboxylic acid first gives the 2,6-xylidine of alpha-picolinic acid. Then the aromatic pyridine ring is reduced to piperidine by hydrogen in the presence of a platinum on carbon catalyst. 
The resulting 2,6 xylidine alpha picolinic acid is methylated to mepivacaine using formaldehyde with simultaneous reduction by hydrogen in the presence of platinum on carbon catalyst. Mepivacaine is a white crystalline powder and is freely soluble in water. Mepivacaine acts on any part of the nervous system and on every type of nerve fiber. In contrast with a nerve trunk, it can cause both sensory and motor paralysis in the innervated area. Its action is completely reversible. It acts by reducing the tendency of voltage-dependent sodium channels to activate. Mepivacaine is marketed under various trade names including carbocaine and polocaine. It is indicated for infiltration, nerve block and epidural anesthesia. It is not effective as a topical anesthetic because of its toxicity to neonates and thus it is not used in obstetrical anesthesia. The next drug is prilocaine. Prilocaine is an amino amide type local anesthetic. Its IUPAC name is N2-methylphenyl-2-propylaminopropanamide. It is a toledine derivative and an intermediate acting local anesthetic. It has only one ortho substitution on the aromatic ring making it more susceptible to amide hydrolysis and giving it a shorter duration of action than lidocaine. It is an amino acid amide in which N-propyl DL alanine and 2-methyl aniline have combined to form the amide bond. It is also a monocarboxylic acid amide and has a role as a local anesthetic and an anticonvulsant agent. Prilocaine is synthesized from orthotolidine which is condensed with 2-bromopropionyl bromide forms an amide which upon reaction with propylamine gives the desired compound prilocaine. Prilocaine is a white crystalline powder or colorless crystals, very slightly soluble in acetone, freely soluble in water and alcohol. Its mechanism of action is similar to that of other local anesthetics. Prilocaine is often used in dentistry. It is used for nerve block or infiltration anesthesia in dental preparations. It is also combined with lidocaine as a topical preparation for dental anesthesia for dermal anesthesia for the treatment of conditions like paresthesia. It is commonly employed for intravenous regional anesthesia abbreviated IVRA as the risk of CNS toxicity is low because of the quick metabolism. And the last drug of this lesson is etidocaine. Etidocaine is an amino amide type and also an anilide of alpha dialkyl amino acid local anesthetic. Its IUPAC name is N2,6-dimethylphenyl-2-ethylpropylaminobutanamide. It is an amino acid amide in which 2-ethylpropylaminobutanoic acid and 2,6-dimethylaniline have combined to form the amide bond. It differs from lidocaine by the addition of an alkyl chain and the extension of one ethyl group on the tertiary amine to the butyl group. The additional lipophilicity gives etidocaine a quicker onset, longer half-life and an increased potency compared with lidocaine. Etidocaine is synthesized from 2,6-dimethylaniline which is reacted with alpha-bromobutyric acid chloride to give the bromoanilide. This is further iodinated to increase the yield with potassium iodide in methanol to form an iodine derivative which easily reacts with propylamine forming aminoamide. This amino amide undergoes further N-ethylation using diethyl sulfate to give etidocaine. It is a white crystalline powder soluble in water and freely soluble in alcohol. Etidocaine acts in a similar mechanism as that of other local anesthetics. It is marketed under the name Duranest. It is the most potent local anesthetic and is used for epidural anesthesia topical anesthesia and for peripheral nerve or plexus block anesthesia. It is an injectable local anesthetic during surgery, labor and delivery. It has a longer duration of activity but has the main disadvantage of increased bleeding during oral surgery. It has greater potency and a longer duration of action than lidocaine. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the anilide derivatives of local anesthetics. In the next video, we will discuss the miscellaneous local anesthetic drugs. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.